Hey there everybody, uh, this is Shadio, welcome back to Fairy Fence Ref Advanced, Advanced, Advanced Dark Force? Advent Dark Force. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably going to be a thing, we're just going just gonna to run through the, uh, the title and just get it wrong, it looks like. Um, but yeah, last episode we went through like all the tutorial, I think pretty much all the tutorial stuff, aside from like bits and pieces that happen as when they happen. I don't know if I don't know if that state of elements when you first get them, get hit by them, you get the tutorial on them. Which we're not gonna get just yet. <laughs> but we went through all the tutorial stuff, we ended up in Salvan City. We have some information from a girl called Lola, who is actually the same voice actor as Kampa. If you you thought they sounded the same, that's why they show the same voice actor. Um, but we also have the shop here, which is, well, yeah, basically buy and sell potions and stuff. It also has um, the crafting market, the crafting gimmick, a uh, little bit later on. We don't have it just yet. I think I think it's called synthesizing in this game, but it's like the um, the remix system in the rebirth games. But basically, items that you get off the floor and such. You can synthesize them to make items available in the shop and other such things. I do believe you do need to actually use this feature later on in the in the game as well for something completely mandatory. See, it's something completely mandatory, or it's to um, get Fury or something from one of the both Um But anyway, I want to. Do I really want to do things now? I think I've plenty of stuff at the moment. <coughs> I would like a couple of these, but I don't know if I'll find a few of them. Uh, you, can, you can also have the option to talk to uh, people in here as well. Um, but none of the, the cutscenes here I believe are voiced, so... I may just go straight through them, but I'll just completely ignore them. I'm fairly certain none of them are specially trained to certain events. The other thing here we have is Gilmore's Pub. Um, later on, this will turn into the Geld. Um, same thing as it was in uh, Neptunia. You come in here, you get quests to defeat enemies or obtain a certain amount of items, and you come here and. Uh, well, you get rewarded for it. And that's all we can do now. Um, the Fountain Plaza, you can, also, you can talk to people here, um, again, completely kind of useless, but this is usually where Lola is, uh, you can't usually, well, the progression of this game is basically you talk to Lola, you pay her some money because she likes money for some reason, she has a money fetish, and she will give you the location of a fury, and then you go to that fury and uh, go to that dungeon, pick up the fury and uh, lava rinse and repeat for a bit. I mean, it's not particularly difficult, but this is an idea factory um, compile heart game, so. There's nothing really like that. But, yeah, here's the, the world map. I believe the. Yeah, the world map doesn't really change all that much. But I believe here are all the um, DLC fairies. Um, they're super powerful. Oh, they give, you, they give you the best stats and stuff. And also we have the, the four DLC um, hidden areas, which wouldn't recommend going to um, if you want to fight fit, fight things because uh, you encounter an enemy in any of these four dungeons at this point in the game and you are dead in the disco. Um, you can actually go in here and sneak past all the enemies to get to the... Um, get to the, the second area in this, this dungeon and you have in the two treasures that contain like a couple of the best um, armors in the game so yeah you can get to you can get to the best armors in the game like right at the start you have all, all the DLC or you playing the switch version like I am you just need to go in here and sneak past all the enemies um, I might actually do that in a side video um, probably after I uh, finish off here 
um, just to show that you can actually get them just by sneaking past everything. But um, yeah, let's go to Soul Pines, which is where we're actually uh, told to go to. It kind of looks rather virtual foresty, doesn't it? The enemies aren't really that difficult here. Well, yeah, we get to introduce to part destruction. Um, something I don't really, I'm not really been able to do since I kind of killed the enemies fairly quickly. <coughs> but um, yeah. Also, with the uh, public start from this video, probably gonna start cussing out. Uh, battles, aside from battles with like new relatives and new enemies. <coughs> There's, well, yeah, the well, last time I'm not sure I thought like I am right now. Um, I'm just gonna cut uh, battles out simply because, well, considering that the first video took like a good um, 50 minutes, I don't really want to be uh, uploading those again soon. Just try and keep the uh, videos to like 30 minutes or so. So then, uh, not having to like record 50 minutes of footage. But yeah, it doesn't mean a lot of editing, so uh, there's that. Actually, do I have enough? Can I do the thing? No, I can't actually do the thing yet. We actually get the thing after we uh, beat this dungeon, I believe. That's a bit of a pain when you level up, the, you, you don't get your HP back, which I'm kind of not used to. But yeah, that's a thing. And well, hopefully, now we're in that much uh, of a problem. I mean, this the first segments section pretty easy. I've pretty much gone through everything and looted the, looted the place. It's just like this, well it's not really the second area either. Well I'm going to go straight into a cutscene though, so that's nice. Exhausted. If you would, please, have a taste of this delicious tea. It's quite effective at relieving any and all weariness. Oh, that doesn't sound half bad. I gotta admit, I was starting to get a little thirsty. Hey, uh, don't you think this is, like, super suspicious? Didn't your parents teach you not to take things from strangers? <laughs> hey, didn't you hear a word I said? <sighs> my, my body. I can't move. 
Was that pearlin of tea? Jeez, Fang. Moron. I told you this was suspicious. Who the hell are you? Oh my. Not one word of gratitude after I just served you some delicious tea? How rude. Well, it matters not. My name is Tiara, and this is my fairy partner, Kiwi. You still have much to learn about being offensive if you fell for such a cliché trick. You have learned a valuable lesson, yes? As a token of your gratitude, I shall accept this fury on your behalf. Hold on! That's just downright dirty! Surely you jest, for I am squeaky clean. Now then, drink. <laughs> Is it... more poison? No, it's an antidote. I cannot bear the thought of leaving you in this state. If you consume this, you'll be able to move in roughly five minutes. During those five minutes, I shall take my leave of you. I thought you were being kind for a second, but you're really just a low-down, dirty trickster. The only dirty thing here is your face. Your fairy friend has quite a shameful face, too. Hmm. I suppose you two are meant to be. What? What did you say? Tell me about it. She's got a really foul mouth, too. Oh my. It seems we're getting along rather swimmingly. Now's not the time for you two to get along. You're right. Hey, you stuck-up bitch. You've got a rotten attitude. You better watch your back from now on. How can you say something so dreadful? Oh, but... For some reason, I am getting rather excited. What's wrong with this chick? Now that I have the item I was after, I shall take my leave of you. Good day. Uh, hey, wait, hold on. Fang, get it together. We need to go after her. My body's still paralyzed. I can't move. Apologies for the cut there. Um, uh. IRL happened basically. Uh, I've also taken a little bit of time to give Fang a potion, so yeah. He has a little bit more health. I may as well fight these whilst. Uh... To be fair, I've kind of sell your experience. We're going to be getting a pipe member soon, and. Um... Look like these these guys were not positioned. Well, I suppose this is why we have a firewall. But yeah, we're gonna be getting a pack number soon, and she's gonna be. Well, he or she is going to be level 5. Oh, that's the heavy in the thing. Whoops. Okay, onwards then. Uh, getting this dungeon's fairly sound the shot because that's the uh, that's the event marker that ends the uh, dungeon because it goes straight to a boss fight. Do have a couple more uh, items to obtain. I think that's all of them now, actually. So, let's see. I'm going to clear out all of the enemies here and I will see you near the event marker. Okay, we're back. Um, I healed. I just healed Fang again because, yeah, why not? Let's go visit another cutscene, shall we? Shut up and hand over that fury. 
How droll. I have nothing to give to someone as boring and uninspired as you. Yeah. Then I guess I gotta use force to claim my prize. I may as well snag you while I'm at it, too. <laughs> I can't wait to see that cute face of yours after it's soaked with tears. I want to see that, too. Huh? Who the hell are you guys? Oh, my. So you decided to pursue me. Fame, was it? I understand. You've come to shower me with love. <laughs> You certainly are an adorable boy. That's not why. You? Are you this woman's ally? Nope. Yes, that is correct. This is my loyal servant. Oh, Fing, this bothersome rogue is attempting to force himself upon me. Could you be a dear and assist me? Who the heck is gonna help you? <laughs> so you're also a fencer, huh? Good timing. Hand over your fury, too. Damn, I guess I've got no choice now. Well, we say that this is a boss fight, but this guy's actually pathetically easy. And I say he's going to be pathetically easy, and he's probably not going to die to the shooting slash. Nope. Didn't think so, I think I need to be like one level higher. That being said, I did him in two times, which is nice. than any fury what is it meat tell me it's meat so furies mean less to you than meat <laughs> it's even better than meat i shall let both of you become my servants how does that sound isn't this wonderful this makes you happy right huh i feel much safer traveling with skilled individuals like yourselves when a helpless, beautiful maiden such as myself travels alone, I am often accosted by all sorts of brigands. Why, you selfish little... Why should we team up with you in the first place? Oh my, this would be beneficial for you too as well. Having more people in your party during combat is advantageous, right? Additionally, a relative of mine manages a nearby inn, so I can also provide you with a place to rest for the night. Give me a break! Why should we travel with an underhanded, conniving, two-faced? Does that inn have tasty food? Certainly. I heard that they acquired a chef from a five-star restaurant. All right. Let's team up. You're just saying that for the food, aren't you? No, that's not the only reason. She's right. Battles will be way easier if there's three of us. It'll be easier to collect the Furies, too. You better not make her collect the Furies while you slack off. Anyway, take me to that inn of yours. I want to know what five-star food tastes like. Yes, please follow me. Hey, wait a sec! Hey!
spare my grandchild's life, please. Grandpa! Shut up! If you keep laughing, I'll kill you with one blow. If you want to save yourselves, hurry up and fork over all your stuff. Leave that kid with us, too. Don't worry. We're not gonna kill her. We'll make sure we get a good price for her. After we've had some fun with her first. <sighs> seem to be in some trouble. Huh? You're... Who the hell are you? Where do you come from? Why are you here? What would you like to know about me? My name? My way of life? Or perhaps... My prowess with the sword? <laughs> my name is Sherman Shalinson. Not that my name should matter to a dead man. Sherman. Sure. Enemy force has received additional reinforcements. What's going on here? My loyal minions, they're... Why, you... I won't forgive this! I see. You wish to follow them into the afterlife. This will not be pleasant for you. Ryushin, release your full power and prepare for assembly. Negative. Enemy strength inadequate to Oryx assembly. Probability of victory at your current power level is 100%. I would prefer to hold nothing back when facing my enemies. But in this case, I'll make an exception. You bastard! I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but no one makes a fool out of me! I'll cut you to pieces! Your prognosis was correct, Ryushin. Now then, are you injured, sir? I'm fine. Thank you very much for saving us. Thank you, mister. I nearly did what had to be done. I delivered swift justice to those who had fallen into the ways of evil. What in the world? Wow, how pretty! I bid you safe travel. Have a wonderful day. Now then, let's go, Beach. Matt, you must be an angel. You're right. How fortunate. Truly. With that, that's basically the first dungeon done with. <coughs> so we have an event here. I think it happens more or less straight away. Uh, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing that in the next full part. Uh, the next video I'm going to try and sneak through here. To try and get those two strong armors. Which I may or may not use. But yeah, I've done this on I've done this on a practice file, and it perfectly capable of doing it at this point in the game. Like I said, you just have to uh, make sure you avoid like the monsters, otherwise you are dead because you're not going to be beating them anytime soon. Uh, th these du these dungeons actually also I believe in the PS4 version of the DLC uh, they came with the level cap uh, increases as well, so. Yeah, you kind of like, I have to be like level 300 plus before you actually can probably take these, take the enemies on here, so, uh, there's that. So, yeah, look at for me going through here and failing miserably, like, a few times. And, like I said, and after that, we will go back to Zalwin City, find out the real taste of Five Star Chef, and, um, figure out where we're heading next to our next Furious. So take care and I will see you guys then. Ciao. Not a boy.